Hello, my little woolly. In today's tutorial, you will learn how to knit a beautiful pattern called the spike stitch. It's almost a 3D pattern. It has a rich texture to it. Although both sides are not identical, I would say it's a reversible pattern because this is the other side and it looks like two columns of V's and then little stars. A great pattern for a lot of projects, such as accessories, but also big pieces like sweaters, cardigans, or blankets. So grab your needles, a little bit of yarn, and let's get started. Firstly, we need to cast on multiples of 5 plus 4. For example, 5 times 2, 10, plus 4, 14. This pattern starts with four set of rows. Those four rows will be made once. First row, right side of the work. Slip the first stitch as if to purl. And here comes the repeat. The repeat is what you will find between asterisks on the written instructions. Remember, you can find my patterns on my website, sewwoolly.net. And there is a link for you below this video in the description box, just below the title of the video. So the repeat is for all two, one, two, bring the yarn to the back and knit three, one, two, three. That's it. Let's do it again. For all two, one, Two, knit three. One, two, three. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there are three stitches left. Ending with purl two and knit one, the edge stitch. Only on this first row, I like to work the last stitch through the back loop. So I'm going to knit the last one through the back loop. This way you can avoid a huge loop there. Second row, slip the first as if to purl, bring the yarn to the back, and here comes the repeat. Knit two, purl three. So we are working each stitch as it presents, or in other words, knitting the knits and purling the purls. Again, the repeat is knit two, purl three. One, two, three. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there are three stitches left, ending with knit two and purl one, the edge stitch. Row three, as per row one, slip the first as if to purl, and here comes the repeat. Purl two, knit three, one, two, three, and repeat. Purl two, knit three, one, two, Keep repeating until there are three stitches left, ending with purl two, knit one. Last set of row, row four, as per row two, slip the first as if to purl, and here comes the repeat with yarning back, knit two, purl three, two, three. Again, knit two, one, two, purl three, one, two, three. And keep repeating until there are three stitches left, ending with knit two, purl one, the edge or salvage stitch. So we have a normal two by three Ribbing, yeah. In row five is when we're going to start the action. So 
Forget about those four rows, they won't be made again. Row five. Slip the first as if to purl, and here comes the repeat. Purl two. Bring the yarn to the back, and now insert the needle into the second stitch. From this three is the middle one, but four rows below. One, two, three, four. You see? One, two, three, four. And knit, pull, so the loop. Don't shrink your, your fabric. Knit three. One, two, three. And go back into the same spot. Four rows below, the stitch in the middle from these three. And knit one. And pull the yarn. So we get this beautiful V. That's a repeat. Let's do it again. Purl two, one, two. Get into the second stitch, but four rows below. One, two, three, four. Knit, pull, knit three. One, two, three, and go back to the same spot, four rows below the middle stitch from these three. And knit, pull, and there you have it. That's the repeat. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there are three stitches left, ending with purl two. knit one, the edge stitch. Okay, after row five, you will have more stitches. Actually, you will have two more stitches per repeat. We will get back to the original amount after row seven. Row six, slip the first as if to purl. With yarn in back, start the repeat. Knit two, bring the yarn to the front and slip. This is the big loop. Slip this one as if to purl. Purl three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and slip the next one as if to purl as well. This is the second big loop. That's it, that's a repeat. Let's do it again. Knit two with yarn in front, slip. If you are confused, just look. Slip the first, knit purl three, and slip the next as if to purl as well. And that's it, that's the repeat. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there are three stitches left, ending with knit two and pull the last, the edge stitch. Okay, so row seven. We start with slip the first as if to purl, and here comes the repeat. Purl two, one, two. Knit these two together through the back loop. Knit one. And knit these two together as you normally knit. That's it. Let's do it again. Purl two. Knit these two together through the back loop. Knit one and knit these two together as you normally do. This way we have the same number of stitches. If you have more stitches, 
Keep repeating until there are three stitches left, ending with purl two and knit the last. Row eight, this is the last one. Slip the first as if to purl, bring the yarn to the back, and here comes the repeat. Knit two, purl three. Two, three. We are knitting the knits and purling the purls. Again, knit two, purl three. One, two, three. And keep repeating if you have more stitches until there are three stitches left. Ending with knit two, purl one. So that's it. These last four rows create a pattern. So if you want to continue, go back to row five and repeat from row five to row eight from now on. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Until the desired length is reached. When finished, bind off, working each stitch as it presents after row seven, facing the wrong side of the work. So this is everything for today, my little Willy. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and happy knitting.